here we go hi this is the transmission or gearbox for a uh, Zindap KS600 from 1940 what I'm gonna do today just remove everything from inside to replace some new small gears and uh, just check everything before assemble back okie dokie oh, oh, what kind of tools Ten. First, I think it's still some oil inside. Is in there, and then okay. mm. got something. tilt just order to pass from gearbox and uh, on front. <laughs> okay, okay. There's not much anyway. What is this? This is a push rod. The bearings. Okay. I'll leave that there. Uh, some oil still ripping from me. As you can see, transmission looks quite good, and um, all I, what I can see is somebody just cut a little bit here, probably to fit some carburetor or something. Start. Can somebody was sewing this? Otherwise, looks decent. Now I got some oil here. Which you need to pick it up. Uh, in this kind of transmission, I think it's not going ordinary transmission oil. It's going like a fine engine oil. Because this transmission is a little bit different what we used to it normally. It's not driven by, by the gears, it's driven with the Chains is a four speed touch transmission with the four double chains. I think double chains, if I'm not wrong. First, what I'm gonna do, I think I should remove first this cover. As you can see on this model, it's probably the earliest one. He's got the hatch here, and that hatch is actually to like sprinkle some oil. On a clutch plate to lubricate the clutch plate. Um, 
what I trying to do, I find out from some friends and people who's doing this, is maybe even better to close this because of uh, new versions, this hatch is blocked and uh, it's even better to drive with the block without oil on a on a clutch place because of the very close tolerances between the clutch plates and uh, other cl clutch discs or whatever and uh, and the thing is work working better without oil. Okay, yeah. still flipping. Hmm. Never mind, I'll pick up a little bit, little bit, start to open this. Uh -huh. and something stronger. still coming out <sighs> and I need to find something to pick up all this oil. This right is gonna help me to <sighs> that's plenty of it now. Take some old rugs and try to pick up all of this. Still open. Never mind, it's not that bad. I carry on with it. Just to see. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll see now to remove this cover. Okay, I'll put some additional tools. Now, yeah, start a little bit. Still a bit some oil there. Come on. Some balls there. Okay. Run.
some other parts and a push rod. Okay. can see something there. Okay, I think there's one solution to hit somewhere there, just a little bit, just to get rid of the Persuasion. Uh -huh. As you can see, it does the washer. Yes, as I said previously, there's a four double chains. Actually, I can't say what's the right position if there's any slack on them or not. And this is the plate. Uh -huh, okay. Just gonna clean a little bit this. It's the main bearing, looks alright. The one Okay, then I'm gonna put this away in some safe place for a moment. <laughs> now, I to clean that, take that small thing and put it here just to not close it. Another side actually. I need to probably remove this is piece of the shaft. Oops. piece of something yeah. again a piece of wood and try to remove this okay. a little bit here now, 
Let me just do a little bit knock it there. Okay, okay, anyway, this is free. to not break it or Now, because over there is probably some shifting forks, I need to remove these. What I'm gonna do first just to open, remove this bolt and this four and try to. This is a shifting mechanism. It shifts another. Here we go, foot control on other side which is linked and move and is also hand shift on a petrol tank there we go now I will try to remove these four bolts and see What's going on? This is something, something unusual, which is more than 10. It's going to be 11 or something. Okay, okay. I lost 11. As I can see, I mean previously I already checked, these bushings need to be replaced. On this one, another side, just need to say make some kind of mandrel to push them out and try to make another one. On light. Okay. Go these out. Okay, they're loose. A little bit out press radar and then try to remove some plate there eyes ah, as double pins just gonna clean that to see uh -huh. there's the plate ah, this pin going somewhere in this uh -huh, for shifting things okay is this one need to be on top can okay, move that what about that okay is this going or not I 
can say now and see if I, can, if I can remove this without taking those two bolts I'm not quite sure Let's see going to well, obviously I need to take a little bit inside just, just a little bit I need to look carefully I don't wanna damage anything because it's already eight years old and, and Need caution. So just a little bit. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we go. Now, other side. Let's see if it's going this way. A little bit. Just a little bit. Very gently. Oops. Here we go. This is a fork. I don't know how it is, but it looks really good. No any damage. It looks decent. This direction. I'm gonna put this one back just in case. And then I'm gonna put on side. There is a uh -huh. what I need to do now find some kind of scalper. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll go one. Then I try to gently remove to not break the okay. okay. Okay, we're gonna see now what's going on here. As you can see, we got the gears, four chains, I mean four double chains, dogs, I mean shifting dogs from this point looks really nice. Now we're gonna take closer looks to dogs. I don't know how good it's there. Oops, I need to do something about this. I need to put something under, which is gonna be. Uh, yeah, something bigger. Now, I'm gonna take closer look. Okay. As you can see, I don't know, focus. There is light. Okay, I'll make it light small. Now clearly we can see what's going on. It's docks looks alright. They're no they are not rounded. But anyway, I'm gonna take it out and try to see. Okay, I don't know how to do it. focus. Okay, slowly I'm going back. Uh, okay. 
as you can see I need to push everything out just keep it on the side what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn this this is free anyway I'm gonna push that way and this probably all the way back just to see what I'm gonna get Slowly I'm gonna okay I can see this one's going it means this one isn't okay what I need I need something to push this one as you can see it's a little bit cheap there but there's nothing wrong as I can see yeah, yeah that's just, just a little bit okay now I'm gonna just slowly Okay, I need to go against something. I'm gonna put this piece of wood here on the back. Look. Then I need to find something to put under. Which is gonna be one piece of wood as well. Okay. Then slowly push it that back. And this one a little bit. Okay, we can do this way. We can do tap it gently, tap, tap it, and then this way. And see how it's going. Still need some effort there. Okay, and this one coming. Okay, I think everything is out. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna twist now just to show you. Look at that. As you can see, that's the Tindap KS600 transmission. Very unique and uh, quiet transmission on one point. I mean, while riding is very quiet, but when you're engaging, can be. Why I actually dismantle this? Only reason actually is to replace this. I've got brand new one. This one is in no bad shape. I don't know how much you can see, but I try to show you. It's no bad shape. This is a groove. This is not broken. Actually, this is actually for some kind of key or something to to get removed. But because I got brand new. I'm just gonna change that as you can see I've got a couple of washers I need to take care of spacers anyway I'm just gonna try to remove that and find another one okay this is the case as you can see case is it's quite good shape and this is all for a moment uh, as I promise gear dogs uh -huh. I don't know if I can lower the lights a little bit and re okay. refocus things you can see the dogs are in very good condition they're not rounded at all I don't know how much you can see if I turn the, you can see the dog actually you can see the old dogs they are not rounded and this side you can see freely that they are in good shape which is good makes me happy that means here is some kind of washer which is going on the bottom of this case is it yes okie dokie see you on next video now i'm trying to take the chains out which i remove first the last on this bigger wheel on the 
front side, this is the rear side, kickstart side, then I remove one on the side next to it, then one closer to kickstart in the middle, and now I'm just trying to get rid of this one, and I think I can then free, okay, as you can see you need to wiggle a little bit, like, okay, here we go. Now what I've got, I've got that chain out. I'm gonna make sure the right order, as you can see now, I can remove these things out. Actually, I will keep this here. It's a little bit play on the See states of the. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not that bad. This particular is good. shape is not any badly worn obviously they are 8 years old and, uh, and they could be replaced but they are not any really really worn 